Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the General of of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 18th day of April 2024. And our topic for today is Your Day. Please let us pray. Our dear Father, we worship and we magnify your name. We bless your name, King of Glory, the one who is worthy of our praise. Thank you, Lord, for being faithful. Thank you for all the good, wonderful and mighty things you have done in our lives. Thank you because you are dependable. Thank you because you have never failed on your promises. Thank you, Lord, for daily loading us with benefits. We say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, as we gather again to receive of you, we ask that you would speak to us. Let your words today be more than words. Let them minister life unto us. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Psalm 90 verse 6. Psalm 90 verse 6 reads, In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. Psalm 90 verse 6. Our text for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 1. We will be reading from verse 1 down to verse 5. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 5 reads, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Our topic for today once more is your day. In the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us that in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5, God called the light day and the darkness night. The combination of both gave us the first day. When you dig deeper, you will discover that a day is broken into three parts, morning, afternoon and evening. In Psalm 55 verse 17, David said, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Day is God's unit of measuring the time of man on earth. Psalm 90 verse 12 says, Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 27 tells us that although God can lengthen a fellow's days, he can also shorten them. According to the memory verse for today, the morning is the time for growing up and it is the time for joy. Psalm 30 verse 5 When you are growing up as a child, you have no responsibilities. When children wake up in the morning, they want breakfast to be on the table, and how it gets there is none of their business. Listen to a child laugh, and you will also begin to laugh, because their laughter is right from the inside. The afternoon is when you are at your peak, and the sun is at its brightest. Job chapter 11 verse 17 tells about age being clearer than the noonday. The noon is the peak of life. The evening is when things begin to become dim and the sun is about to set. 1 Samuel chapter 4 verse 15 says that Eli was 98 years old and his eyes waxed dim. Psalm 104 verse 23 says that man goes to his work and begins to return home in the evening. Your evening is when you begin to round off your life. It is pertinent to know which part of your day you are in so that you can act wisely and make the best out of it. 
However, if you don't know, you could be trying to achieve good results with the wrong method. This is why those who fear God are called wise because even though they grow old, they have wisdom and can still do what strong people cannot. There is a time to use strength primarily and there is a time to use less of strength and more of wisdom. There is a time to run and a time to pass the button. You must recognize your times and seasons to make the best out of your life. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is your day. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 tells us, To everything there is a season and the time to every purpose under the heaven. There is a time to be born, a time to grow, mature, a time to run your race, a time to make impact, and a time to hand over the baton. In today's study, our Father and the Lord classifies the seasons of life into three broad categories. The morning, the afternoon, and the evening seasons of a man's life. Each of these seasons are characterized with certain attributes, privileges, and opportunities which should be maximized for a glorious and impactful life. Apostle Paul, speaking in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. He had this great testimony because although he had a terrible start in life in terms of purpose fulfillment, he made the most of what he had left. It was he who mentioned in Philippians chapter 3, verse 4, that I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. He said in verse 13 of the same Philippians chapter 3 that, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. He never got tired of being hungry and thirsty for more. He wanted to maximize every opportunity to fulfill that which God had called him to do. Dear brothers and sisters, as we all know, we will not be here forever, so we too must ensure to maximize every day called today while we still have it. The psalmist in Psalm 90 verse 12 says, Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The consciousness with which we live our lives makes us intentional about making the most of our lives by the help of the wisdom of God. Our Lord Jesus had this consciousness also. He wanted to make the most of his time here on earth. He said in John chapter 9 verse 4 that I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. He said the night cometh when no man can walk. We are admonished today to take a look at our lives to identify which part of the day of our lives that we currently are so that we can act wisely and make the best out of it. A full and a satisfied life is not necessarily one that is filled with all the good things and the riches of life. It is a life that was spent and even emptied upon the purposes for which it was created in agreement with God's plan. I would like us at this point to bow our heads and we'll be asking the Lord today would say, Father, please help me to identify that part of the day and the current season of my life in Jesus' name. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please open my eyes to the reality of my current season in life. Help me, Lord, not just to live life as it comes. Help me to be very deliberate and intentional. Help me to start with identifying what point and stage of life I am in so I can make appropriate use of what is left in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that we will not be carried away with the distractions that are all around us, that he will grant us focus in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please help me more than ever before to make the most of every season of my life. Tell him today, say, Father, let me maximize every opportunity that you give to me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask the Lord today. Ask him today for the grace to maximize every opportunity he gives us, that we will not be careless 
about the times and seasons of our lives in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today to help us to always walk with that consciousness, the consciousness to make the most of our times in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, open your mouth and say, Father, on this journey to fulfill purpose and destiny, please help me. Help me to fulfill purpose and destiny with every season of my life. Let no season of my life pass by without me making the most of it in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please take over my times and my seasons. Take over my life. Take over all that is left. Be my commander-in-chief. Take over the wheels, O Lord, and let my life produce great results to your glory in Jesus' name. Tell the Lord today that we hand over. We submit our life and our seasons to his perfect will for us. Let only that which he desires for us manifest in our lives. Begin to thank the Lord and appreciate him for answers to prayers. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you for reminding us on the need to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. We ask, O Lord, that you would help us to live our lives as wise men, maximizing the life you have given to us for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in today's study that asks us, What part of your day on earth are you currently in? As we have been told today, please take our time to reflect and trust God for the wisdom to make the most of our lives here on earth in Jesus' name. Amen. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4 down to chapter 5. We also want to sincerely thank you and appreciate you for making our time to join us today. We are glad to have you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 28 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Guide me, O Thou Great Jehovah. Have a remarkably blessed day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and fill your life with impact in Jesus' name. We love you and bye for now. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.